Good dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting this video, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. And although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. A particle of mass small n moving with the speed v hits elastically another stationary particle of mass 2m on a smooth horizontal circular tube of radius small r. The time in which the next collision will take place is equal to. Here we have given four options. Option first 2 pi r by v. Option b 4 pi r by v. Option c 3 pi r by 2 v. And option d pi r by v. This question is based on uh, elastic collision. Here we have given a track or we can say that is a tube. Here the two spherical object which is a movie and this uh, first spherical object having the mass is n it is collided with 2m object spherical object. Okay and we have to find out when the second collision time of the second collision. So totally this question is based on elastic collision. So, what is the meaning of elastic collision? Elastic collision, it means their momentum and energy, both are conserved. So, therefore, we have using like that here, first before collision. Before collision means this object, this uh, spherical object is moving. So, therefore, it is moving mv. Okay. And after collision, its momentum become mv1 and m2m v2 okay because uh, this spherical object is in rest but when collide then it's having some velocity so taking m common and cancel out then we get v equal to v1 plus 2 v1 okay it is the first equation and like that we have using kinetic energy before collision the kinetic energy is 1 by 2 mv square and after collision now it's Kinetic energy become m v1 square 1 by 2 2m v2 square. So 1 by 2m get common and cancel out. So here v square v1 square plus 2v2 square. So it can be written as v minus v1 equal to 2v1. So let give the name that is the first equation and similarly v square minus v1 square equal to 2 v2 square. It is the second equation. Okay. Now second equation divided by first equation. So here a square minus b square identity can be used. So therefore v plus v1 and v minus v1 equal to 2 v2 square and divided by this equation v minus v1 upon 2 v1. Okay. So now here v minus v1 cancel out, here 2 2 cancel out and v1 1 sorry v2 cancel out. So here we get v plus v1 equal to v2 or it can be written as v equal to v2 minus v1. So here we get after collision a relative velocity of this uh, object that is v2 minus v1 and now as we know that speed equal to your relative velocity speed equal to distance upon time so what is the distance when it is travel and second collision it means taken total distance that is 2 pi r here time is t and here the relative velocity v2 minus v1 okay so here t equal to 2 pi r upon v2 minus v1 then Again, v2 minus v1. What is v2 minus v1? That is v. So, here the time taken of second collision that is t equal to 2 pi r by v. So, here option first is correct. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely for your success, all the credit goes to your hard work. But if my video will help for your success, then I will consider myself lucky. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.